Well, we'll get to a weather report here in just a moment. First, another note on the Tri-County Fair. Chris, why don't you uh, slap us out some, uh, well, great video from previous Eastern Sierra Tri-County Fairs. And again, the fair opening on Thursday, August 29th, going through Sunday, September 1st, just four days again this year. Uh, sow it, grow it, show it at the Tri-County Fair. As you know, there's all sorts of great carnival rides and games. The petting zoo is always popular. Thousands of homemade and homegrown exhibits. The Russell Brothers Family Fun Circus. Going to have some Nevada gunfighters this year. That should be fun. Live bands on stage at the MGD stage. Bishop Lions Club Fish Derby Discovering Science. It's all fun at the Eastern Sarah Tri-County Fair. Thursday, the fair will open at 4 p.m. Go until 11 o'clock. Friday, 4 to midnight. And then Saturday and Sunday from noon to midnight. In the arena, the Eastern Sierra Sliders Horse Show. Thursday at 7.30 on Friday. It's going to be the WGAS Tractor Pull. The largest ever to come to the Tri-County Fairgrounds. And then on Saturday, hey, it's the local rodeo. And Buck Wild Tour and Bulls and Bronx. And yeah, the Bishop Volunteer Fire Department Destruction Derby taking center stage on Sunday. Should be a great time. As always, everybody gets out to the Mike Booth Memorial Arena. And well, not only raising money for just some great volunteers, Bishop Volunteer Fire Department, but uh, have a good time doing it. And again, it's the Eastern Sierra Tri-County Fair starting tomorrow. Pre-sale tickets still available until 1 o'clock Thursday with the fair opening at 4. As always, you can check for more information, tricountyfair.com or call 760-873-3588. All right, let's go to the weather map. Sierra Wave Media forecaster Dennis Mattinson says that, well, with all the shower activity, we shouldn't forget that there is still a large ridge of high pressure anchored over the Rockies. Timing and intensity of any disturbance moving under that ridge into California. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But Dennis Mattinson says the next surge of moisture from the remnants of Tropical Storm Fernand looks to happen on Thursday. And Dennis Mattinson says bring a slight chance of some thunderstorm activity through the Labor Day holiday weekend. Low tonight into tomorrow morning for Mammoth 50 degrees, Bishop and the Owens Valley. 59 degrees mammoth Thursday. Well, we're going to put sunny skies in the forecast, but partly cloudy by the afternoon. Windy again with some southwest winds in the forecast for Mono County, 15 to 25 miles an hour. 73 the expected high in mammoth low of about 59 degrees Friday. Well, there's our 20% chance of some rain and thunderstorm activity. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. 75 the high in mammoth. Low of about 57 degrees and maybe still that slight chance of rain and thunderstorm Saturday, but otherwise partly cloudy skies. Some light wind 72 the high in Mammoth low of about 54 degrees for Bishop and the Owens Valley on Thursday. Partly cloudy skies. The forecast some southeast winds going to blow through the valley 5 to 10 miles an hour. 93 the high in Bishop low of about 63 degrees. Put in that 20% chance of some rain and thunderstorm activity Friday for the valley. Some south winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. 93 for the high in Bishop low of about 59 degrees and for Saturday eh, sunny skies for the most part for the Owens Valley but again looks like you still might have a little slight chance early some thunderstorm rain activity 93 the high in Bishop low of about 57 degrees so for the most part looks like some nice weather for us here in the eastern Sierra for the Labor Day holiday weekend Let's uh, jump over to some sports and let's go out to Bishop Union High School's John Schwab Field which is where folks should be on Friday night as the Bishop Union High School football teams will be opening the 2013 season. Bishop Broncos hosting Whittier Christian from La Habra. Should be a pretty good matchup. Uh, Whittier Christian coming in with a pretty solid squad. You know, Bishop Union High School, the Broncos will have a very solid squad. Heck, they always do under varsity coach Bill Egan. Uh, Egan has guided the Bishop Broncos into the playoffs each and every year. He's been the head coach at Bishop. You know, the Bishop uh, Union High School, as well as the rest of the high desert league teams have moved over to the central section. So, yeah, it'd be nice to keep that streak going and start a new one in the central section. But again, this is a non-league game starting off the season. The Bishop Broncos hosting Whittier Christian. Whittier Christian uh, comes in uh, after an 8-4 and four season last year. They're going to be led by a senior quarterback, Ryan Edslinger. 
Los Angeles Times sports writer Eric Sondheimer calls him one of the top QBs in Southern California. Last year he passed for 2,736 yards and 28 touchdowns. Whittier Christian, and I know we're still looking at highlights from the Bishop Broncos here, but their opponent on Friday, Whittier Christian, hey, is ranked number eight in the, the CIF Southern section Northwest Division preseason pull, and that Northwest Division is pretty tough, so the Bishop Broncos going to have their hands full Friday night at John Schwab Field. Junior varsity kick off at four o'clock with the varsity at seven. Hope everybody gets out and enjoys some good early season high school football action. And that's going to wrap it up for us here on Sierra Wave TV. You know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station 92.5 FM, 96.5 FM, streaming on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody, and a fine Labor Day holiday weekend. Good night.